Hello. My name is Ariel. I am from Brazil. I live in a small town with my family. My town is beautiful. It has green parks, a big river, and friendly people. Life here is simple and peaceful. We have a big festival every year. People come from different places to enjoy music, food, and dances. When I was a child, I loved playing football with my friends. We played every afternoon after school. My dream was to become a professional football player. I also loved reading books. My favorite books were about adventures and magic. I always imagined myself as a hero traveling to faraway lands. As I grew older, I started to think about my future. I wanted to have a good job and travel the world. But I knew that to achieve these dreams, I needed to learn something new. In my town, many people spoke only Portuguese, our native language. But I noticed that many important things, like books, movies, and even some jobs, required English. English is a global language. People speak it in many countries. If you know English, you can talk to people from different parts of the world. You can also find good jobs because many companies want people who speak English. English helps you understand the Internet better, as most information is in English. This is why I decided to learn English. I remember the first time I told my parents about my decision. They were very happy. They knew that learning English would help me a lot in the future. They said they would support me in every way possible. This made me feel even more excited to start my journey. In my school, we had English classes, but they were very basic. We learned simple words and phrases. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to speak English fluently. I wanted to understand English movies and read English books. So, I decided to take extra classes and practice every day. I knew it would not be easy. Learning a new language takes time and effort. But I was ready to work hard. I was ready to face the challenges. I was ready to achieve my dreams. And so, my journey to learn English began. It was a journey full of excitement, challenges, and hard work. It was a journey that changed my life in many ways. In the next sections, I will share more about this journey. I hope my story will inspire you to learn English too. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. When I first heard English, I was very excited but also a little scared. It sounded very different from Portuguese, my native language. The words were new, and the sounds were unfamiliar. But I was curious. I wanted to learn more about this language. The first time I heard English was on TV. I was watching a movie with my family. The characters were speaking English, and there were subtitles in Portuguese. The movie was interesting, but I kept thinking about the language. It sounded so different, so new. I wanted to understand what the characters were saying without reading the subtitles. I told my parents about my interest in learning English. They were happy to hear that. They said it was a good idea and promised to help me. My mom found some English books for beginners and my dad bought me a dictionary. I was very excited to start learning. In school, we had English classes twice a week. Our teacher, Mrs. Silva, was very kind and patient. She taught us basic words and phrases. She also told us stories in English. Sometimes, I did not understand everything, but I tried my best to follow along. I always asked questions when I did not understand something. Mrs. Silva was always happy to help. One day, Mrs. Silva asked us to introduce ourselves in English. I was nervous, but I practiced a lot. 
When it was my turn, I stood up and said, Hello, my name is Alex. I am from Brazil. I like football and reading books. Everyone clapped, and Mrs. Silva said I did a great job. I felt very proud. At home, I continued to practice. I read my English books every day. I also watched English cartoons and tried to understand what the characters were saying. Sometimes, I repeated the sentences to practice my pronunciation. My little sister, Maria, liked to watch the cartoons with me. She even tried to say some words in English. It was fun learning together. My parents encouraged me a lot. They always praised my efforts and told me I was doing great. This made me feel more confident and motivated to keep learning. My mom sometimes helped me with my homework. She did not know much English, but she tried her best to support me. My dad always asked me to teach him new words I learned. It was a fun way to practice and remember the words. I also found some online resources to help me learn. There were many websites and apps where I could practice English. I liked using an app that had fun games and quizzes. It made learning English more enjoyable. I also joined an online forum where people from different countries practiced English together. I made some new friends there, and we helped each other learn. Learning English was not easy, but it was very exciting. Every day, I learned something new. Every new word or phrase felt like a small victory. I knew I had a long way to go, but I was determined to keep going. I wanted to speak English fluently and understand everything without subtitles. I wanted to achieve my dreams. In the next sections, I will share more about the challenges I faced and how I overcame them. Learning English was a journey full of ups and downs, but it was worth every effort. If you are learning English too, remember that every small step brings you closer to your goal. Keep practicing, stay curious, and enjoy the journey. At first, learning English was very difficult for me. There were many challenges. But I knew that overcoming these challenges was part of the journey. One of the biggest challenges was pronunciation. English has many sounds that are different from Portuguese. Some words were very hard to pronounce. I practiced a lot. But sometimes I felt like I was not making any progress. I would say a word many times. But it still did not sound right. This was very frustrating. Another challenge was remembering new words. English has a lot of words, and many of them were new to me. I tried to memorize them, but sometimes I forgot them very quickly. I made flashcards to help me remember, but it was still difficult. I felt like there were too many words to learn. Grammar was also challenging. English grammar rules were very different from Portuguese. There were many rules to remember, and some of them were confusing. For example, the use of tenses was very tricky. I often made mistakes, and this made me feel discouraged. Listening was another big challenge. When people spoke English, they spoke very fast. It was hard to understand what they were saying. I tried to listen carefully, but I often missed many words. This made it difficult to follow conversations or understand movies and TV shows. Speaking was also hard. I was afraid of making mistakes. Sometimes I knew the words, but I was too scared to say them. I worried that people would laugh at my mistakes. This made me very nervous when I tried to speak English. There were times when I felt like giving up. Learning English seemed too hard. I felt like I would never be able to speak fluently. But I remembered why I started. 
I wanted to speak English to achieve my dreams. I wanted to have a good job and travel the world. I knew that giving up was not an option. My teacher, Mrs. Silva, was very supportive. She told us that making mistakes was a part of learning. She said that it was okay to make mistakes because we learn from them. She encouraged us to practice every day and not to be afraid of speaking. Her words gave me hope and motivation. My parents also supported me a lot. They always encouraged me to keep trying. They told me that every small step was progress. They reminded me of my dreams and how learning English would help me achieve them. Their support gave me strength to keep going. To overcome my pronunciation problems, I practiced speaking every day. I listened to English songs and repeated the lyrics. I also watched videos where people taught how to pronounce words correctly. I practiced in front of a mirror to see how my mouth moved. Slowly, my pronunciation started to improve. To remember new words, I made a habit of writing them down in a notebook. I wrote the word, its meaning, and a sentence using the word. I reviewed my notebook every day. This helped me remember the words better. I also tried to use the new words in my daily conversations. For grammar, I did many exercises. I found online resources and practice books. I did the exercises every day. I also read simple English books and paid attention to how sentences were formed. This helped me understand the grammar rules better. To improve my listening skills, I watched English movies and TV shows with subtitles. I listened to English podcasts and tried to understand the main ideas. I also practiced listening to short English stories. At first, it was hard, but with practice, I started to understand more. To become more confident in speaking, I joined an English speaking club. We met once a week and practiced speaking English. Everyone in the club was very supportive. We helped each other and gave feedback. This made me feel more comfortable and less afraid of making mistakes. Learning English was challenging, but I learned that persistence is the key. I faced many difficulties, but I did not give up. I kept practicing and trying different methods. Slowly, I started to see progress. After facing many challenges, I realized that I needed to find effective ways to learn English. I knew that I needed to practice every day and find methods that worked best for me. First, I started taking English classes. My teacher, Mrs. Silva, was very kind and helped me a lot. She made learning fun and interesting. In class, we learned new words, practiced speaking, and listened to stories. Mrs. Silva always encouraged us to ask questions and participate. She said that practice was the key to learning English. In addition to my classes, I used online videos and apps to practice every day. There were many free resources available on the Internet. I found videos where teachers explained grammar rules and taught new vocabulary. These videos were very helpful because I could watch them at my own pace and repeat them if I needed to. I also found several apps that made learning English fun. These apps had games, quizzes, and interactive exercises. Reading was another method that helped me a lot. I started with simple children's books. These books had short sentences and pictures that made the stories easy to understand. I enjoyed reading about different adventures and characters. As I became more confident, I moved on to reading short stories and simple novels. 
Reading helped me improve my vocabulary and understand sentence structures better. To improve my listening skills, I watched English movies and TV shows. At first, I watched with subtitles in Portuguese, but as I improved, I switched to English subtitles. This helped me understand the dialogues better. I also listened to English songs and tried to understand the lyrics. Music was a fun way to learn new words and phrases. I often sang along to practice my pronunciation. Speaking practice was very important. I joined an English speaking club where we met once a week to practice speaking. In the club, we discussed different topics, played games, and even performed small skits. Everyone in the club was learning English, so we helped and supported each other. This made me feel more comfortable speaking in front of others. I also practiced speaking English at home. I talked to myself in English, describing my day or practicing new words I had learned. My day or practicing new words I had learned. Sometimes I recorded myself speaking and listened to the recordings to identify my mistakes. This helped me improve my pronunciation and fluency. Writing was another area I focused on. I kept a journal where I wrote about my daily activities, thoughts, and feelings in English. Writing helped me practice using new words and grammar rules. It also gave me a chance to express myself and reflect on my progress. Another useful method was setting specific goals. I set small, achievable goals for myself, like learning five new words every day or reading one chapter of a book each week. Setting goals helped me stay motivated and track my progress. I celebrated each achievement no matter how small, which kept me motivated to continue. Finally, I surrounded myself with English as much as possible. I changed the language settings on my phone and computer to English. I labeled items in my house with their English names. I even tried thinking in English. Immersing myself in the language helped me become more familiar with it and use it more naturally. By using these methods, I started to see improvement. Learning English became more enjoyable, and I felt more confident in my abilities. The journey was still challenging, but I was making progress every day. I knew that with persistence and hard work, I could achieve my goal of speaking English fluently. One day, I had a small but significant victory. I understood a simple conversation in English. I was so happy. It was a moment that made me feel proud and confident. It showed me that my hard work was paying off. This happened when I was watching a TV show. The characters were talking about their day and for the first time, I understood what they were saying without reading the subtitles. I felt a surge of joy and excitement. It was a small conversation, but for me it was a big achievement. It showed me that I was improving. Another milestone was reading my first English book, A Children's Story. The book was about a little boy and his adventures with his dog. The sentences were short and the words were simple. I read the book slowly, making sure I understood each sentence. When I finished, I felt a great sense of accomplishment. I had read a whole book in English. These small successes made me feel proud. They motivated me to keep going. I started to believe in myself more. I knew that if I continued to work hard, I could achieve my goal of speaking English fluently. My progress was also noticeable in my daily life. I started to understand more when people spoke English. I could follow conversations better and respond with simple sentences. This was a big improvement from when I first started. 
I felt more confident speaking English, even if I still made mistakes. In school, my teacher, Mrs. Silva, noticed my progress too. She praised my efforts and encouraged me to participate more in class. This made me feel good about my progress and motivated me to keep learning. I enjoyed our English classes more because I could understand and participate better. My parents were very proud of me. They saw how hard I was working and how much I was improving. They always encouraged me and celebrated my achievements. This support was very important to me. It gave me the strength to keep going, even when things were tough. To track my progress, I kept a journal. Every day I wrote down new words I learned, sentences I practiced, and any new experiences I had in English. This helped me see how much I was improving. It also helped me identify areas where I needed more practice. My journal became a record of my journey, full of memories and achievements. One of the most rewarding moments was when I had a conversation with a tourist in my town. He was lost and asked for directions in English. I was able to understand him and give him directions. It was a simple conversation, but it made me feel very proud. I realized that I could use English to help others and connect with people from different parts of the world. As I continued to practice, I noticed that my pronunciation was getting better. I could say words more clearly and with more confidence. My listening skills were also improving. I could understand spoken English better, even when people spoke quickly. My vocabulary was growing too. I knew more words and could use them in sentences. I could read more complex texts and understand them. Writing in English became easier as well. I could write longer sentences and express my thoughts more clearly. These progress markers were very motivating. They showed me that my hard work was paying off. I knew that I still had a long way to go, but I was on the right path. I hope my story will inspire you to stay motivated and keep learning.